Oh yeah, it's supposed to be sad for this part. So, here we are with the, the last retro review ever for season two. Yeah, the last, the last one ever for season two. We've got another absolutely cracking year for music with this retro review. So you guys in there, apologies if you've got a 4D TV because that fat sausage will be in your lounge. What I was going to say is if you're new to the channel, you probably don't know what retro reviews are. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, reviews of retro things, but it's where we find iconic products from the past and then we'll base the entire review around the particular year of that product launch. To be precise, the year is 1983, and you're probably playing a set of these. I always feel like Retro Reviews is the perfect platform, a little bit of like Guardians of the Galaxy vibe of where music could carry this playlist. But unfortunately, due to DMCA strikes and copyright, I'm not allowed to use actual songs. So what I try and do, it's quite hard, is find covers where it's similar and I can get away with it, but it's not the exact song. Well, anyway, I found this absolute gem. Hit it. It's really not that bad when you get into it. It stopped, hasn't it? There's work to be done. Don't play play on. Really? Safe. Perfect club, this. Nice. Good start. Do it. Oh, what? So seeing as the Ping I2 is the guest on the very last retro review in 2021, <laughs> as always I wanted to do a bit of research and one of the questions that came up on Google was, are Ping I2 irons still good? Wildly popular since their mid-80s inception, the Ping I2 irons are the original and still one of the best CAC perimeter weighted cavity back irons on the market. Best CAC? Hilarious, yeah, brilliant guys, thanks. It's it was, it, it was best cast. So we don't really need Google to answer that question, do we? No, um, they are still good. These were huge in the 80s, extremely popular. But I just think it looks unwell and not in a good way. Not that there's a good way of looking unwell. You know the worst part about that was? That wasn't the hosel rocket. That was just me stuck. Hit it. Oh, it counts. It's on. No, I just can't. I, I, I've never liked the look of them. Like I said in the original Ping Eye, it looks like a witch's nose. Like, if it was down to me, I would change the G for a K. So if you went to the cinema in 1982 on your penny farthing, my dad's gonna kill me. These are the movies that you would have seen. E.T. Phone Brenda, Tron, The Dark Crystal, and the poltergeist. You heard that as well, didn't you? A movie that I didn't even know had a sequel. Grease 2. It must be absolutely shit. It's got an unusual head shape, hasn't it? Oh. Thriller by Michael Jackson. 
became the uh, biggest selling album of uh, of all time. You alright mate? And the strangest thing happened in 1983 when someone accidentally put garden fertiliser on a top flight. It grew to such a size that no one knew what to do with it so they just turned it into a theme park. Mmm. Yeah. What if I can still cut it with that tree in the way? One way to find out. I fancy a cut here, I don't know why I'd oh, see he's cut. No way. Right, that's going in the archives. So a new feature that we demoed in the last retro review that we're gonna carry over to season three is what happened on this day, this exact day in 1983. Like I say, they're not all gonna be exciting or nice. Um, December 1, 1983, Rita Lavelle, former head of EPA, convicted of perjury. That again. Uh, slightly different that one. Ah, oh, lost a life, last life. For everyone watching in the US that was around in 1983, January 22 was not a good day because you couldn't go out on your penny farthing because snow covered 75% of North America. Do you remember that? I'll do anything to creep this album into any retro review, okay? Feb 13, Dark Side of the Moon had been in the charts for 402 weeks, which is around seven years. I'm not surprised, masterpiece. We've been close a couple of times. I'm quite happy with the performance. Oh, does it have to end like this? This one? Oh, it's exciting. I've just been given this piece of paper because inside, apparently it's got the most exciting fact that we've ever had on Retro Reviews. I don't think we're ready for this. It's best to be good. 28 skiers perform backflips whilst holding hands in Quebec. Oh, this one's better, apparently. I was giving the wrong sheet. Ozzy Osbourne bites the head off a bat on stage in Iowa. <gasps> yes, it does. So guys, that's it. Season two is over. The memories just needs a good backing track. Da -da. So for any Team Al veterans we have in attendance, you know I usually start with a high draw. With my friends, the time has come. Where's the road from that hand so far? We're gonna mix it up with a high fade because let's get the hard stuff out of the way. I mean, these things have aged like, aged, 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 aged. So guys, thanks for joining us for season two, 2021. I'll see you all season three in 2022. It's going to be exciting. And if you haven't subscribed already, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, live streaming on Twitch. Come and join the best Discord in the world, Team Al Discord. The link is below. Thank you.